All right, in this video, we're going to try to do 1988 BC3. I know it says BC, but if you're in Calc AB, it could just as easily apply to you. It's a really old problem, but uh, not as old as some of the ones that I've been doing recently. And uh, it's related rates. And so that's why we're doing it. So let's see, let's see how it goes. So uh, the figure above represents an observer at a point A. Um, this So a more modern version of this problem, for whatever reason, tends to involve a rocket launch uh, or launching a satellite or something. But whatever, this, this, this person just watching a balloon rise. Um, from point C. So the balloon starts here and it goes up, uh, rising to constant rate. So in this case of three meters per second. So that's basically telling us dy dt. And over time, y will get bigger. So it's positive three and then meters per second. And then the observer is hundred meters. So that's never gonna change. And also the figure was provided. So I don't know how you would get that wrong. Um, and then what are we doing? So uh, find the rate of change of x at the instant when y is 50. So x is uh, like the line of sight distance. So we want to find that. So, well, what do we know that involves uh, rate of change of x? So that's a length. So I want to do, I'm trying to decide if I want to do trig on this or if I just, I don't think I do. I think I just want to do uh, x squared equals y squared plus 100 squared and see, see what happens. So hypotenuse equals leg squared plus leg squared. Now we want to know when y equals 50. So if y equals 50, um, that means that x squared equals uh, 50 squared plus 100 squared. Which like you can just do that out, um, but another option is both of these have a fifty squared in them, and one that's fifty times two squared, so fifty squared two squared, so two squared. So you would get fifty squared times five is x squared. So then x is going to be fifty root five. Technically plus or minus, but like the distance isn't going to be minus, so we know it's going to be fifty root five. All right, so uh, let's let's do this. We'll take the derivative with respect to t of both sides of this thing. So you kind of heard at the beginning where I was like, I'm not sure how I want to approach this. That's problem solving. You like look at a problem uh, and you're like, I, I don't know. Um, and then you decide on the best way to go. There's probably uh, multiple ways you can do it. Dy, dy, dt. Don't forget the derivative of a constant is zero. So we got some stuff we can plug in here. We know that um, y is going to be. Oh, you're not a highlighter. Uh, we know that y is going to be fifty. That'll be fifty. We know that uh, x is going to be fifty root five at the time we're interested in, and we know that uh, dy, dt is three. So we're trying to solve for dx, dt. So I mean, dx, dt is going to be y dy dt over x. I bet some of you out there have that memorized. It comes up really often. So like it wouldn't be a terrible thing to memorize. Um, dy dt is three. Uh, so I'm just going to plug in here and say dx dt is. So we get uh, three times uh, 50 three times 50 over 50 root five, three over root five. So I'm gonna write that as that, three over root five, and then that's meters per second. So X is increasing three over root five meters per second. It's increasing more slowly than this. Um, I feel like that kind of makes sense to me. I don't know, just like thinking about life and how things happen. Uh, so I'm gonna go with that and let's see what B is. Rate of change in the area of the right triangle BCA, which I assume is the only triangle we have, BCA, uh, when y is equal to 50. It's really nice that y is always 50. So like things that we have found apply, like x is still 50 root 5. dx dt should still be 3 root 5 if we need it. Um, so BCA is a triangle. So 1 half base times height is 1 half 100 times y. Uh, is that possibly as, I don't know, area is one half, 100 times y. 
So the area, it, I'm like skeptical because this seems seems easier than it should be. DA DT is going to be 50 DY DT. And we know that we were told up above that well, DY DT is three. So DA DT is going to be 150 uh, meters squared per second. I'm going to just say when y equals 50. Because it'd be different at other times, but fortunately, we don't have to deal with that. This, I should also say that here. When y equals 50. All right, let's take a look at this last one. Find the rate of change. B, by the way, is like a, a modern curveball. Like, they don't ask that question very often. Uh, maybe because they were like, what's the point? But who knows? And the rate of change in theta at the instant when y is equal to 50. This is what I think of as this problem. Like, this is the problem. Like, what is the rate of change of that angle? Like, usually now you got a rocket going up, you got a camera that's trying to keep on the rocket all the time. Every time SpaceX launches or whatever, I'm always like, that's that calculus problem right there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is uh, we're looking for d theta dt, and we know dy dt. So, I'd like to do something that involves this, this, and like why involve a variable when we could do this, this, and this. So the tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. So tan of theta is y over 100, and we'll go from there. So let's see, tan of theta is y over 100, derivative with respect to t of both sides. Which uh, I usually write out this step now. I did not, did not used to do. Uh, whoa, didn't used to do that. Why am I writing thetas there? And uh, now I do. I don't know. All right, secant derivative tangent is secant squared. But chain rule, d theta dt. If you forgot the chain rule, you wouldn't have the thing you're trying to solve for. So like this question kind of points that out to you. Dy dt. All right, we know dy dt is three. We've used that a couple times. Um, so secant of theta. I there are two ways you can deal with this. You can like uh, I don't know. You can do like you can try to find that like find theta at that time. It may or may not be a famous angle. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here and say that secant would be a uh, hypotenuse over adjacent, right? Because cosine is, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I know that X we calculated was 50 root five. So in this picture, the secant of theta is 50 root five over 100, which is root five over two. So I'm gonna sub in root five over two. So here I get root five over two. We have to square it, d theta dt, 1 over 100 times 3, so 3 over 100. Um, so d theta dt, you can see the next one we're going to do there. Don't, don't look ahead. We'll get there. 3 over 100 times. So this is 5 over 4, so 4 fifths. So d theta dt is equal to... 25, 3 over 125, like radians per, per second when y is equal to 50. Because everything is uh, per second because the, uh, the balloon. So this is a balloon. I don't know uh, how fast balloons move. I don't even know how fast they're capable of moving. There must be some like terminal is there like a terminal up velocity for a balloon where like, I don't really know. I don't know why I feel like there should be, but like, it seems, well, because like gravity's pushing down and like that's something. Anyway, uh, I think these are our answers. And so uh, that is 1988 BC3, but it's totally a Calc AB question. I don't, I don't know why it was BC. So anyway. Uh, I hope this was helpful and good luck.